Hey everybody, Alberto back with another episode of Opti TV. But first, if you don't know what Opti TV is, This channel is all about Opti sailing. Make sure to check out this video in its entirety because it may just be useful to you and your racing. First off, I just want to say thanks to all the supporters who have been encouraging us to keep creating content and bringing some interesting things out. So we've been getting some questions about tactics and strategy and some different things. So I thought that I would fire up a new series dedicated to talking about tactics, strategy, boat handling and, and topics related to that. A lot of the times when we're out there and we're sailing, we get a little bit confused about what to do and what calls to make. Instead of just reacting to things, maybe we should be more proactive and anticipate and try to control our race a little more. It's time to ask coach. Welcome to the coach zone. What is a Lee bow? It's pretty much in the name, Lee bow. What you're doing is placing your boat relative to your rival forward and just below it in a position that affects them with your sail and your wake so they can slowly drop back in speed. Lee bowing an opponent is also one way that you can help control your race. This is pretty useful. So we're gonna talk about this tactical maneuver. We're gonna have the main points so that you can take it to your coach and ask more questions. Let's break down some vocabulary before we get into anything else. Number one is tactics. Tactics are the little steps you take in order to enact your strategy. Number two, strategy. Strategy is your overarching plan. It could be your plan for the race, it could be your plan for the regatta, or it could be the plan just for a certain portion of your race. Here's pretty much what you wanna do. You want to attack at the right time and the right opportunity in order to force your rival out to a side or a ley line where they don't want to be. Check this video out so you can see how when you attack and do it properly, you can really control your rival and apply this to one or more boats. This is a great thing to do when you're approaching certain ends of a beat or a leg, like when you're going to the finish line or when you're heading up to the top mark. It's important to remember though, that if you do it wrong, you could really cost yourself a lot of places. I swear, I didn't hit the bump, I swear. What you're trying to do is gain vertical distance on the course, not lateral distance. The best thing to do is stay in normal speed mode when you're going upwind, because remember, lead bond can really only happen when you're going upwind. So you have to make sure that you stay in kind of a normal speed mode so you can make sure you're getting the best heading possible. That's really the only way you can pull this off. Ask your coach if you can practice lead bowing drills such as this one so you can get really good at knowing when to tack because you have to tack at the right opportunity in the right situation. And if you do that, you'll be able to execute a perfect lead bow and get yourself an advantage. We're gonna be making more of these, so drop a comment below, or if you're wondering about anything in particular in terms of tactics and strategy, or maybe some boat speed. And as always, if you like what we're doing, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making more Opti content for you. This has been Alberto. See you next time.